Taurus, welcome to your weekly general reading for November 1st through the 7th for anyone with Taurus placements. Cross watchers, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. Just be mindful that the energies can show up reversed for you. And again, a general reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not. Okay, I never ever start off with a love oracle card for my general readings, but these just like fell over while I was shuffling and who came out. So let's see, heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with one another and pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Really interesting. So you may want to have a conversation this week, okay? But we definitely want to be paying attention, okay, to what we're saying, to what others are saying, okay? You are showing up with the Wheel of Destiny this week. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Karma is taking place possibly after a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, okay? The wheel is starting to spin and it's spinning in your favor about time, Taurus, right? Queen of Wands and the Knight of Swords. Wow, you are about to identify something, okay? Or you are identifying with something that really speaks to you. It's really passionate about you. There's some kind of truth, okay? You feel like you need to move towards it. It is a slow moving energy, okay? But the wheel is spinning, my loves. The Queen of Wands is about feeling so passionate towards this, okay? These just fell out. I'm going to put them back, but the Empress, death in reverse and temperance in reverse. Three soul lessons under this wheel of fortune. It's all about being patient, okay? Allowing what is meant to leave to leave, okay? And nurturing yourself while you go through this transition, okay? This isn't something that's going to happen overnight here, okay? This is truly um, you evolving, okay, to a brand new level here. Very, very interesting. Really good time with this death card in the reverse uh, for Scorpio season, okay? But your challenge is deciding, okay? What is it that you want? It's the well, okay? And in this deck here, this is all about making a wish, okay? Nurturing that wish. It's a birthplace for ideas, okay? That's um, one of the best ways you can describe it, okay? The well is a place where what you never thought is possible is possible, okay? And that came up in um, the other reading I did too, okay? About our reality, okay? Um, not identifying with our soul and our soul knows something that we don't because we haven't experienced it yet. We've never seen anyone, okay? Experience what it is that we want, okay? But this is all about transitioning and getting ready to embrace that, okay? The Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. The challenge is going to require you to do things a different way, okay? Or you may not be obtaining this the way you once thought you would, okay? With the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, this is needing to do something different, okay? Because, yes, we're working hard, right? And it's very stable, the Eight of Pentacles. It's going to work every day, giving it our all. We're focused on getting our reward, okay? But this is saying the challenge is you need to be willing to break out of that, okay? To really identify with what your soul wants here. Seven of Swords in the reverse. You can't lie to yourself. You can't hide from it. You can't tell yourself you're not worth having it. You're not deserving. It could never happen. Three of Cups. And you have to be willing to accept help. You can't keep it to yourself, I very much get there's people, okay, or someone, an energy around you that can and wants to support you, have some type of common goal, right? That's what the Three of Cups is all about. Knight of Cups, but it's going to require an offer, okay? Let's see what's going on around you. Strength in reverse. You could be dealing straight up with a Leo, okay? Or you may be dealing with someone that has been lashing out, okay? Um, not acting them typical, their typical selves, okay? They may be on a hair trigger, okay? Or upset. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and then the reverse, Nine of Pentacles. This person may make you feel very stable, okay? They're coming in as a single energy, um, very grounded, okay? All earth energy here, right? It's actually all Taurus energy too, right? But I feel like that's you identifying with them within something, okay? This could also be you if this is your energy, Taurus, okay? Where 
you're looking right at what could identify with your soul, what could make you feel passionate, what could make you feel successful, right? Like you're setting yourself up to have it all, right? To be able to take care of yourself. And I'm talking about financially, but it is more than that. It's a purpose. It's a deep soul purpose, okay? But there's a lot of feeling unworthy or like we can't go about it, okay? You or another person, just it may be just the situation, okay, that gives off this energy to you, okay? The past is the Eight of Cups in the reverse, okay? Returning back to something that once made you feel very alone, broken, okay? Left you in the dark. The Empress just popped out for the second time in this reading and the Two of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Lots of love, lots and lots of love. You could have been dealing with a divine counterpart, okay? But it left you feeling unbalanced. You couldn't maintain feeling alone and trying to nurture something, right? I'm very much getting like I couldn't do it alone. The magician. You tried to. You really tried to. But the truth is you felt abandoned. I don't know how else to read that for you. Other than you were trying to manifest the situation, it could have been a job, okay? We're seeing lots of um, pentacle energy here, okay? It could have been a relationship with this Empress card, okay? But there was a lot of darkness, a lot of pain, and you trying to balance going forward and trying the lighter sides of life. And uh, there's still that pain you're carrying. That's what I'm getting, okay? But that's what's coming up for your past, Okay? Could have been dealing. This is your energy here, Aries energy with the magician, but Gemini as well. Hmm. Interesting. Your strength is the King of Wands in the reverse. I'll tell you what. This Wheel of Fortune. You may not like it, okay? But the King of Wands in the reverse is saying you know that this isn't love, okay? From a soul level, and I'm being very bold, calling it love, but. The fact that these came out in the beginning of your reading, okay, about needing to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, paying attention to the red flags. The King of Wands in the reverse has been coming up in so many of my readings as I thought this was going to be everything and I was completely invested, but I found out, and it seems like it's been almost the hard way we found out, right, that it's not. And that might be hard to accept. It may be embarrassing to accept that, right? Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, it makes us feel incomplete. Or like we don't even know ourselves because we were so sure this was it for us, right? Ace of Swords, wow. Judgment in reverse. But there's lesson. There's a lesson you can learn and then you can deeper understand yourself. You can deeper understand what your morals are, your values, what it is that you want, okay? Love or not, just in life in general. Judgment in reverse is talking about you need a second chance, but you need to be willing to talk to your soul, Okay? Maybe this conversation here needs to happen with somebody for you to be able to reflect, okay? Not to reconcile, but to understand your triggers, right? You can go and look at your bonus video if that resonates, okay? But I'm definitely getting here that there's a lesson that needs to be learned. It's not going to lead to a new beginning until you go within, okay? And almost evaluate what those morals, those boundaries, what it is you're working towards, what matters now, what fuels you, okay? But this is showing up in your strength position, so take advantage of it, okay? You guys are able to see something very clearly for what it is. Going forward, Knight of Cups, which is interesting. That came out and they reversed earlier. The Chariot, Ten of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. This could be you offering an apology or a very, very sweet cup of love to somebody else, Okay? It's coming through as attachment, as fear, as a one-ditch effort. It could have a lot to do with this past situation that's coming up. Someone that once walked away from you, that you walked away from them. It can be leading to this conversation that has been kind of, I don't know, highlighting your reading, I guess, since the beginning. There's a lot of fear. I see you... It's almost like this energy of, can we please just try again one more time? But I don't know that your heart's all behind it here. The Ten of Swords and the Nine of Swords. I mean, this is like you just... Mm. It's a panic offer. That's what I'm getting, okay? Your advice here is the Knight of Swords. 
Let's slow down a little bit, okay? We definitely want to see movement. We want to see determination, okay? But we want to move slow. We want to pay attention. We don't want to act impulsively, okay? We want to be logical, right? We want to be motivated by um, ambition, absolutely, but not to the point where it's going to become self-destructive, right? Because we weren't looking. Seven of Cups, exactly, because we're blocked by illusions. It's really time to start paying attention and studying what these illusions are, what they mean to you. What do you use as an escape? Is it relationships? Is it people? Is it work? Okay. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Knight of Wands in the reverse. It's time to take the blindfold off though, okay? Because with the Knight, excuse me, with the Knight of Wands in the reverse, okay? It's like as soon as something touches you, you want to run towards it, right? And then when you know, when you're feeling drawn, it's like, I know I need to look at this. Fear gets in the way of that, which can be exactly what was talking about with the strength and the reverse energy, all fear. Even though there's so much passion behind it, there's so much success, potential for success behind it. We're just terrified of this new beginning. The advice is to really call yourself out on that, Taurus, okay? Where are you holding yourself back? Where are you keeping yourself trapped? Investing your time, energy, and attention into things that just don't resonate with you on a soul level because you are in a position where you can feel that very clearly. You will know, okay, if you check in with yourself. Going, uh, excuse me, what you don't see coming is very interesting because I saw the chariot come out before, obviously, we just had it, and now we're stopping, okay? Pause. Could be... Um, a block from the universe. It could be from conflicted feelings, possibly after a conversation you have. Justice. It's meant to be. Libra energy. Ten of Pentacles. Two of Wands. You're being blocked because you are either having an awakening, an epiphany, or the universe is going to expose some type of new path here that you can go down that will bring you a lot of fucking happiness. Okay? So even if things don't feel very happy that something's been blocked and you didn't go down a path that you once were so certain was for you, okay? Remember what I said at the beginning of the reading, your soul knows something that you don't. You've never had an experience or been shown by anyone around you what Ten of Pentacles looks like for your soul, okay? Little pieces, the Seven of Cups energy is little pieces of yourself resonating with these little areas, right? Where it's like, well, that I like that. I like that. And so you're scattered brain because you're paying attention to all these things. Okay. You can have it all. You don't need to dilute yourself and accept what isn't for you just to have a little bit of what resonates. Okay. That's coming through very, very, very strong. A message from your soul is the page of pentacles. Be willing to learn. Be willing to be a student. Okay. That might be going back to school. Okay. Or studying more before you apply for a job or uh, it could just be on a soul level. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to still be figuring it out. Right. But you have to focus on it. You have to dedicate it. You have to give it the time it needs, the energy it deserves to be looked at. Okay. Patience and focus and determination are huge with the page of pentacles while being mindful that you're still a student. Okay. There's going to be some error, trial and error. Okay. But it doesn't have to be disastrous, right? The Ten of Wands in the reverse, the Six of Swords in the reverse, the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Your soul wants you to know that you haven't been able to move on, okay? Because you've been carrying this pressure of living for others, okay? showing up for others but think it's very much coming through like um you're wearing a cape Taurus okay and that's kind of what I was getting here okay with this knight of cup offer that we saw going forward okay ten of wands in the reverse is your soul asking you to please let go of that responsibility it's not your burden it's not your stress okay you have enough <laughs> to learn on your own right reflect how hard it's been to comprehend why we do the things we do, right? Or why we are the way we are, where our sadness, where our depth comes from, okay? We can't force that on anyone else. Going forward, the lovers in the reverse, Gemini energy. Eight of wands in the reverse, the sun. 
again, it can be in love, you guys, where it takes kind of a 180 on you, right? You thought someone was for you forever. You thought this was your person. And you may not. Eight of Wands in reverse, the lovers in reverse, you may separate, okay? But what is it bringing to you? The sun, your happiness, real connection, okay? Real communication. Um, and I get it's from the divine. You're going to be spoken to on such a spiritual level here, okay? We saw justice come out before under what you didn't see coming, okay? So even though something, that path is being blocked, okay? It's leading you to something better, something your brain cannot even comprehend, but your soul knows is right. The world in the reverse. There's a cycle of holding yourself back, okay? triggering ourselves back into this place of feeling alone and abandoned this isn't your destiny okay that's not it Taurus that's not where you're supposed to be you don't have to hide in situations okay you do have to close out that chapter to accept that light that is trying to friggin enter I mean this is crazy the sun is the happiest card of the whole deck okay two divine feminine oracle cards for you queen of the outsiders I have arrived. I am where I will always be in love. And the goddess of all that flows. I am an ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me, which is beautiful. We had that well as your challenge. Okay. So really reflect what is it that re exists within you. Okay. This is the time to figure that out. That's what I see for you this week. If this was helpful, please like, share, subscribe, comment. It really helps my channel and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.